All right, today we're going to be doing a composite loop bait fish. Uh, there's uh, four materials that'll go into this composite loop, uh, and composite loops aren't near as hard as uh, as a lot of people may think they are. Uh, it's just uh, it's just you got to pay a little attention to detail, but they're they're actually quite a bit of fun because you can put so many different things inside that loop and and, uh, and create so many different effects. So uh, so let's get a hook in the vise here and talk about the materials we're going to use. So this is a size 6 straight eye saltwater hook but if you're going to fish for bass or crappie or something you can go ahead and just use a regular hook. It doesn't have to be stainless steel. <clears throat> uh, so we're going to use some uh, ostrich hurl for the uh, for the tail. And then uh, inside the composite loop we're going to use these four different materials. There's going to be uh, this minnow belly, some uh, ice dub pearl, some bait fish emulator, this is in a lavender, and then just a smidgen of this uh, ice dub smoke blue. So we'll be using that. We'll uh, for the head. Then we're gonna we're gonna put uh, on a fish mask size number four, and we'll use these four millimeter eyes to go on that fish mask. And uh, see the saltwater hook that I'm using, uh, it's a U401 size 6. Okay, so let's get started. We'll put some thread on here. Work our way to the back. And we'll tie in this tail before we start our, our loop. So on this, <clears throat> we'll take about... 12 to 10 to 12 of these fibers just a good chunk of them in here and we'll make this tail be about probably twice the length of the hook somewhere in there so there's one so we'll go two lengths so right about in there we just want a good fluffy tail back here and what we have to watch is we don't want the tail or we don't want the body material once we make this this loop and we put the body materials in the loop we want to make sure that they don't extend past the tail. The tail needs to be able to hang back there and and, uh, and flutter around. All right, let's cut some of this excess off here. And we're going to cover all this up with our composite loop so we're not too concerned what that looks like right now okay so we'll just hang that there for now and then we'll get our materials ready for the composite loop so we'll start with this we're gonna take some ice dub and you see these fibers are pretty long and uh, so we're gonna kind of even them up here like so and all I do is see I'm just I just kind of take and I and I just gently pull them apart and then stack them back on top of one another and that kind of evens up all the ends. But you see how long it is that it would it would clearly be too long. So what we're going to do is take and grab them right in the middle and just break them. And now I've got uh, fibers about a half half the length. So we'll come back over here and we're going to lay them underneath. My other camera here so you can see what I'm doing. And I want about three inches that I'm going to lay these out in. So building a composite loop is almost like making a sandwich. And this is my first piece of bread that I've got here. And then I'm going to put stuff inside of it. So about three inches. And that'll be enough, I think, to cover the hook. So on top of that, we're going to take some of this... Uh, um, bait fish em emulator imitator and we need about probably half to three quarters of an inch of this so we'll come in here and just snip some off not that much of it and again these are uh, these are these are too long so we're gonna cut some of these down uh, we're gonna cut these so they're just about the same length so it's just about in half cut that there and then we're just going to take and 
kind of lay these across in here like so just across the width and this stuff all of this gets a little touchy to work with because it likes to stick to your finger so much so we just distribute that in there like so and then we're going to take this blue and uh, we'll try to even it up here a little bit and then we're going to take it and just kind of lay it out here and this will be just a little hint of blue like a lot of bait fish have in them, a little smolts they have just a little hint of blue all right so now we got the inside of our sandwich made so then we'll take this bait fish belly and see it's got a nice little blue tint to it also and again it's it's pretty long stuff we're just gonna kind of pull it break it up a little bit so we have smaller stuff to work with and we'll take it and just lay it on here and this is the top of our sandwich so now I've got a little bait fish sandwich going here this stuff sticking to me all right so I'm gonna set that there for now now let's make our loop so all we do is make a loop a little bit bigger than the uh, than what I've got uh, for my sandwich so this is about a four inch loop go around it a couple times and then secure it and move our thread out of the way right there okay now what I like to do is I take uh, this is the type of spinner I use it's got a lot, a lot of nice weight on the bottom for spinning and I just put it down at the bottom of my loop and and I I put my thread over here on this little uh, nut so that I can um, just kind of keeps it open makes it easier for me to open back up when I need to all right now what I do is I I take th some dubbing wax and I just put some at least on one side or on both sides just a little bit there and that helps the all the material stick in there a little easier and then I just pick up my sandwich I might need two hands here pick up my sandwich and I can open up my loop and then I just set it inside and then close the loop and I can kind of adjust it a little bit so it's where I want it and then I pinch right down here at the bottom of it and I give my dubbing spinner a good spin See, just spin in there and then I release my fingers and it starts to spin up now I give it another little one and now I've got a nice little spun spun yarn and then I need to pick some of that out so I take I'll take my whip finisher and the hook of it and I come in here and just kind of kind of pick these pieces out a little bit And you're going to lose a lot of this dubbing will come out. Uh, let go, let go there. Okay. And then I'll take my brush. Get that out of there. And kind of brush it a little bit. And then we'll just, then we'll wind it. Pull everything back like so pull all back and wind it and because this brush is so big that you created I need to keep the ostrich out of there You don't have to keep real tight touching turns because these fibers are so long and it's such a bushy brush that you created. So we'll come up here and work our way forward, pulling everything back.
and we'll tie that in. And clip off what we don't need here. And pull it back a little bit. Make a few wraps. Alright, now we take our brush and we want to work all these fibers up and out. little flowing body here. There's just some great color in there. You can see all the little little blues and pearls and and that little lavender is in there. And so in the water that's going to give off some really nice iridescent uh, reflection and look. Okay, now what we'll do is uh, we'll take some peacock curl and we'll put a couple strands on the back. We'll take about four or five strands. Set them back here so about the length of the tail. And that will give it a kind of a nice fish back look to it. Then you can just clean this up, make a nice little white head. So we're going to put that fish mask so. Um, it'll take care of these little strays that are kind of running around there. And I'll whip finish this. Cut off my excess. And now I'm going to take some, uh, I'll take some UV glue and I'll throw it up here on top. And my fish mask goes on like so. And then I hit it with my light. Alright, so now the mask is on there, and then I can put in my eyes. So I'll take one of the little eyes and set it on there, like so, and then I take uh, I take another drop of UV. Oh, you got fish parts all over me. And I just put a drop there and I hit it with light. And I do the same to the other side.
Great. Yeah, and there you have it. A bait fish. And it'll come back and it'll look nice in the water.